I can't. It won't even. Eddie up! Eddie up! Eddie Sanchez is pumped up! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the season two of Idiosyncrasies. Uh, with me, as always, Landon and Jared. Landon's being a bitch Facts. already. <laughs> Facts. Fuck you. I'm not. I already did the bit. I'm so sorry <laughs> that you fucking decided to do it fucking late. God, God damn. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. How are you guys? How was your Christmas? Fuck you. Okay, well, we'll just get right into the music then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am currently making the new playlist. Uh, Idio Syncrasies Part 2. Number 2. Well, Add it. What, should I, what, I sh what, what, what should I make? Uh, <laughs> even more unoriginal. Absolutely. Even more and uninspired. Last inspired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, way less. What was the other? Uh, inspired. Way, way more uninspired. We're not making new merch. No. <laughs> yeah. No. no this, this, this is. There we go. Even more unoriginal. Way more uninspired. Okay. All right. So, how was everyone's Christmas? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go first. Um, so this song gets me rock hard in two and rock, a half rock, seconds. Rock. Um, it. It's my go-to workout song right now. Um, it It's fucking good. It's Never Miss a Beat by Kaiser Chiefs. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm doing this wrong. Kaiser Chiefs. Got oh, it. Uh, the fucking... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the, kick drum is just, the kick drum is just so like full, you know, like you, you got to listen like to like your it. fucking balls right Cock. now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like for real, like it's just it's such a rich sound from the drums and I fucking love it. Um, number two will be uh, It's All Right, Baby by Komeda, K-O-M-E-D-A. It's all right, baby. It's all right, baby. It's Who's another one. Comida. Comida. Is really like, like the, the album cover art. really colorful? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that um, too. But like, that's one thing. It was Spotify wrapped 2020, I think. Um, they give the top 100 playlist. And I was listening to it. And... Every fucking song in like the top fifty, I was like, "Damn, I really like this baseline." <laughs> and like, we're that's what we're getting at with these songs I'm adding right yeah. now, pretty much. Uh, let's mix it up. Um, I saw the new West Side Story a couple weeks ago. I fucking love the music in West Side Story. Like even the original and the new one, it's just uh, I fucking love it. Um, so let's do. This one, no, it's not. Uh, <laughs> let's do the dance at the gym mambo by Leonard Bernstein. Okay, let's do it. All right, what? What? I just <laughs> fucking love like salsa and merengue and mambo and fucking. Uh, oh. I love salsa. Mild, I love medium, salsa. Tangy. Rest restaurant style, <laughs> chunky. Damn. A little bit of pepper. That's some of that mysterious green sauce and here. And one, there's of chunky. Oh, one of my He's one dead. of my New Year's resolutions is to listen to more music because I was upset with how low my <laughs> minutes listened to was. Yeah. Fucking, uh, did, did I tell you, uh, my friends, like, it was, like, fucking, like, half of the entire fucking year? Yeah. 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 <laughs> how? 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 <laughs> fucking ridiculous. How now, brown cow? Brown cow? <laughs> yeah. Red leather, yellow leather, motherfucker. And then you got songs? Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yes, I, I do. All right. I'm trying to do my best on not choosing songs I had in the last playlist because now it won't tell me that they're doing oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh so Shame. the first song I'm doing it is uh fucking uh goggles by glass or not glass animals, uh post animal. That's a different wrong band. 
by Post Animal. Uh, very bangin'. It's a very good song. Um, then the second song I'm going to do, it is Night at Drive by Gautier. The fucking banger song. And the uh, uh, fucking bass in that song is... Mm, mm. 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 And then mm. since, mm. since mm. it's been a fat minute, mm. minute since we've been on here, I'll I'll do a third song. Ah, no. Sorry. Apparently you're sure not doing a third happened. song. <laughs> the third song I'm gonna do is the one I accidentally played. <laughs> Cherry Colored <laughs> Funk by the Cocteau Twins. There. Okay. All right. Way. Uh, can I hit you with? <laughs> What's your Christmas <laughs> track? Fuck, fuck you. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hit you with uh, "Frequency" by IQ. Ah, oh, Jesus! <laughs> he hit me. I hit you by 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 Kid Cootie. No, no. By, uh, by IQ. <laughs> uh, I think I mean Ick. There's some irony in here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then Comfort Zone by Beardfish. <laughs> you cut out for me, so I hear it was beers. <laughs> Beardfish. <laughs> beers. Beers. Uh, beard. Why do you listen to the weirdest fucking band name? I because like Dylan started listening in psychedelic like corn crumpet. Shut the fuck up, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, <laughs> like that's 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 one. All right, that's one. <laughs> fucking gearfish, ick. I think he just said he likes you. He he, he 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 says he likes kid cootie or cutty. How you I how you said kid cootie. <laughs> <laughs> is, that cutty. You is that how you say it? Is that how you say it? No, it's cutty. No, it's cutty. Is it cutty? Yes. <laughs> kid cootie. <laughs> Pursuit of Happiness by Kid Cudi. That's a good song, though. Oh, is that who that is? Yeah. Uh, Pursuit, uh, Pursuit, Pursuit of Happiness by Kid Cudi. I know. I know. Yeah, that's Kid Cudi. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, and then I'm going to do uh, 3090 from Tick Tick Boom. Because that's been a fucking great head. movie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to watch it again, I... honestly. It's 30 slash 90. Yeah. So I spell 30 or do I type No, it? it's the numbers 30 numbers. and 90. Okay, from t- uh, <laughs> simplifies to one third. Oh, it's got the Spider Man <laughs> in it. It does have the Spider Man in it. it has the has Spider Dash Man in it. Hudgens in it. it oh wait, wait, wait! Hudgens isn't that like the the it's musical? It's the John, Ma- the John yeah. Larson story. It, yep. Yeah, I've heard about it. I've never watched it. But it's really it. fucking good. It is really good. Um, speaking of Spotify, has anyone seen the profile picture for the weekend? Oh. Yeah, the, <laughs> I saw it on the, the homepage. Yeah, what the fuck am I looking at? And if you click on his account, it zooms oh, what in. What the hell, the, bro? It's it, old weekend. <laughs> cl- yeah, click on his old. Click on his like actual Spotify account. It's like zoomed into his eyes. <laughs> it's like really <laughs> pixelated. <laughs> That's oh pretty my good. god! Oh man. <laughs> He's going through Holy some shit, shit right now. Apparently, yeah. blinding <laughs> lights has. 2.7 trillion streams. Hold. No, that's billion. That's billion. That's billion. That's billion. It's the same thing. <laughs> no, it's not. Another that... day. Another day. <laughs> yes, of it is. It's not billion. No <laughs> <laughs> that's a trillion billion. The same thing. <laughs> There's one more comma than the other ones. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, the, the other ones are in the millions, but Blinding Lights is 2.7 billion. Oh my god, he's got sextillion numbers. <laughs> Alright, and that's gonna be it for this episode of Video Secrecies. Thank you everybody for watching. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening to music, so this episode's gonna be so much better than when I go back to listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> what has... Is there a YouTube video that has trillion views yet? Uh, no, because the billion was like... What what was the one that got like a billion views and that was like a big Highest thing? Highest viewed. Uh, YouTube man, that was fast. Despacito, isn't it? I think Despacito is the most viewed. Uh, yeah, I think so. Seven number one, billion. Baby Shark Dance oh. says nine point nine six billion. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Despacito's number two. 
Fucking Johnny Johnny, yes, Papa is number <laughs> three. Shape of You is number four. What the fuck? The El Chambo, that alien dancing meme, that's got 3.7 billion views. Damn. Fuck, baby. That has, more than, in, that, has, that has more than Shakira. We're in the wrong business here. <laughs> we're in the wrong timeline. That's, the wrong timeline. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> we should just work at Coco Melon. It's the second time Coco Melon animation. has been brought up this week. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I think I like I think it got brought up literally yesterday. <laughs> Coco Melon. Coco Melon. <laughs> uh, bro, I start class on Monday. I'm fucking hyped for my classes. I'm taking yes. intermediate 3D animation. That's not a real where I'm going to be learning <laughs> how essentially to do acting and animation. Oh, oh, that's, so that's fucking excited! Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's fucking sick. <laughs> that's really cool. Our, our final, we're given a line of dialogue that we have to animate with, like a person speaking. I'm so fucking hype. I have my A plus exam on Monday. Hopefully, as long as I'm uh, feeling good enough to take it. You get an A plus. <laughs> I I'm just I'm just hoping I pass. Like I'm just hoping I get the bare minimum to pass. That's that's all I'm shooting that's for. All that in, that's yeah, all that matters. That's all that matters. College, a C is an A. It's a it's a certification oh. exam. So like, yeah. as long How as I have it, Christmas. Fuck you. <laughs> I okay. So we went and visited my uh, family up in the Cleveland area for Christmas. Fucking. Come home. How was your Christmas? It was it was good. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. <laughs> but if I can come home, my mom texts my brother and I and's like, "Hey, uh, one of these so and so had one of uh, these so and sos. <laughs> one of these so and sos had COVID. Uh, just just te- just tested positive for COVID. So it's like, okay, well, I'm not, you know, I'm not showing any symptoms. I'm not feeling too bad. So like, that's fine. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> don't, well, it's like not that I don't care, but it's like I'm not gonna go get a test. Like it's not life or death for me dylan gets sick and he's like coughing oh, up a storm it. he's <laughs> so i'm like fuck dylan's sick i'm i'm gonna get sick now i'm i've been sick all week i went and got my fucking test on tuesday i have yet to hear back about it i have no yeah. idea what i fucking have i'm pissed <laughs> i have heard that some places are like not prioritizing negative tests so you're probably fine that's 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 good i guess Still doesn't yeah, explain see, why I feel like shit. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Here's some uh, drama with my college. Oh shit! Not really, not really drama because it's public knowledge. But um, so spring move-in is Sunday. Today is Friday. They just released an email today saying that if you are moving back in on Sun, like when you move back in, you have to have a COVID test within 48 hours. So it can be 48 hours before or 48 hours after. But they're having everyone who's planning on coming back to Cincinnati like tomorrow or Sunday and bringing them all to Cincinnati to get tested in Cincinnati. And we only have so many slots available to test people. But we're also online for the first two weeks. So like they're trying to do that to force people to spread out their move-ins. Yeah, we're taking we're taking a bunch of fucking people, putting into a fucking <laughs> large room where everyone's breathing, ha- hacking and coughing on where each everyone's other. Everyone's breathing. Yeah, you know, where everyone's just fucking breathing each other, <laughs> fucking back and forth, in and out, fucking no, fucking terrible. Why do why do companies fucking do that? It's such a terrible idea, especially what we had to go fucking go through. Everyone's like, we really have to do our parts. We have to be safe. We have to be, you know, safe, Come on, you know. Grandma. Get, get in the box and breathe. Get in the, get in the box with the mosquitoes, Grandma. Why the fuck? It always goes back to the it fucking goes back. mosquito box. Um, fucking BG has not said if they're going to do two weeks online yet to start out, and people are really upset about that. So the Bee Gees are kind of getting old. I hope they're all healthy. <laughs> I was going to do the I same mean, joke. I was, gonna, I, I was, was going to say, man, but I hope they're staying alive. Trace said that like it, it was asking for it. <laughs> man, I really hope that they're staying alive. <laughs> uh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, that's the credits roll fucking. Uh, so what's everyone's New Year's resolution? Lose weight. Get paid, get laid, 
Gatorade. Gatorade. Find it. <laughs> uh, yeah, lose weight, work out more. That's yeah. that's my goal. Get a gym membership. Stop being disgusting with myself. <laughs> I so like I told everyone that this year my goal is is I want to start working out more. I want to be more fit. Things like that. So what do I get for Christmas? A laundry basket. A fucking laundry basket. This goddamn big. Filled to the brim with candy. I'm not kidding. Nothing but <laughs> fucking candy. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, Do you want like, to see I, me fall? That's my biggest pet peeve whenever I go home. Is because, like, I my mom, she works a lot. So she, she buys food a lot just, like, out to eat. She doesn't mm-hmm. really get stuff for home. And then every time I'm coming home, I'm usually doing well about eating well at school and actively working out. And like when I go home, I don't have the accessibilities that to work out as much. Yeah. And then she's like, Oh, you were coming home. So I thought I'd get some stuff. And it's like little Debbie's and like <laughs> junk food. It's like, bitch, you know, I don't have self-control, you know, I'm going <laughs> to eat all this and then feel bad about myself. I say like, I cleaned up my back room so that I could move, pull my weight bench out. And put it more beside my treadmill. So like, been doing that. I'm I'm down three pounds this week. So that's pretty good. Oh, that's awesome! Hell yeah, brother! Hey, woo! Um, <laughs> All right, that's enough. It is never enough. <laughs> I will murder you. Oh God! Okay, never uh, mind. <laughs> <laughs> I lost oh. my train of th- I, I lost my train of thought uh, on that one. So we're just gonna move on. <laughs> Pat, Pav says, what's the worst, what's the worst thing, thing has ever happened to you guys in public? <laughs> I say as I'm sitting in a Meyer bathroom in stall public. because it was no fart. Damn. Ouch. That's honestly funny. One of the most embarrassing things that happened to me was in a Meyer bathroom stall. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I was like probably seven years old taking a mad dump. I was at my, like, it's well known in my family if we ever go shopping and it involves walking a good amount, I'm going to need to stop and take a shit somewhere. So we were at Meyer, and I was like, Mom, i got to poop. She's like, okay, go to the bathroom. You know where it is. So I go in there. I'm vibing, take it a shit. And then I hear the door open, and there was this one male worker who was just very outstanding. And I just hear the door open. He goes, is anyone in here? I was like, ah! Like, I literally, like, seven, I was like, ah! I was <laughs> like, okay! Is that like the exact, that's that exactly the exact what he sounded like. I'm not exaggerating whatsoever. Wow. Um, Damn. That's, I, I'll think on it some more, but that's definitely up there just because the Meyer bathroom pad said made me think about it. <laughs> uh, probably, probably my most embarrassing public situation was one time i went to the store and I, I put on you know like every normal man i put on a pair of pants you know didn't think of anything uh and you know i go into the store with my pair of pants and i started noticing people like i would turn around and i noticed that people would look at me and then turn away one turn away once they noticed i was looking back at them or whatever i'm like what the fuck was that all about happened like five six times um for some reason, I did not realize until like I was like in the fucking I don't I don't even know where I that's the fucking fishing section. I don't know. I was just kind of fucking around or whatever. And I, I went to scratch my ass, right? I felt skin. <laughs> I had I had literally a fucking bait like baseball softball size hole in my pants and I didn't Damn. feel it at all. And I'm surprised because you have to think about it. I put the pants on. It was summer, so I would have felt the air. I sat in the car, you know, I would have felt it on my ass. I didn't. I Damn. didn't at all. No one said anything. They just saw this guy that was wearing, like, a half-made assless chap. So, like, one side was assed, one was assless. One so, side was yeah, assed. Yeah, assed. <laughs> my uh, pants you got the ass- new ass chaps? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Half-ass chaps. <laughs> half-ass chaps. There we go. There's our new merch. Uh, that's our new, the <laughs> yeah, that's oh, probably man. that's probably up there. And I was like, like I was so red faced. I'm like, what do I even do? <laughs> what, like, what do I do? I I literally bought pants, put them on in the bathroom, and threw those away. And I just went back yeah. to shopping. 
I was so embarrassed. I waited in the bathroom too. I waited in the bathroom for at least ten to twenty minutes to make sure that everyone that saw me or the majority of them have left. (laughs) And I made sure I stayed in the corners of the store where I'm not recognizable. And I was I just put my hoodie. I just put my hoodie up because I'm like, oh my fucking god, (laughs) damn it. I was like, the worst thing that's happened to me is just like a bathroom stall at a hospital. Some dude in the stall next to me tried talking to me. I. Uh, I'm not even. I can't even beat yours. That's. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm trying to like, like I don't know. I've never. There's no like core memory of mine that's like, yeah, you were fucking embarrassed at this time. Yeah. Because like, <laughs> like I did have my pants ripped one time, and it was embarrassing, but it wasn't that bad. <laughs> I, right. I, I was, well, the problem, the, the the thing is too, is a the fucking theme because that's not the first time that I've had pants rip near my ass because like it's all it happened to me one time in middle school like it wasn't like a giant softball hole where it looks like someone just fucking just took a shotgun and shot my pants no it looks like someone just took a fucking box cutter and just sliced Damn. my pants and I st- I remember we were all in choir and we and I stood up and some one other kid was sitting down and my ass was right in her view <laughs> and she was like hey Landon. Uh, <laughs> I, I can see. <laughs> I can see your ass hair. Yeah, bro. I, don't, ass I don't remember hair. what she said, but she was like along the lines of like, "I can see your like underwear or something like that." I'm like, I didn't even turn around. I just left <laughs> <laughs> because I was like, "What do What do you do?" You know, because like that's so embarrassing. That's like you know, like those fucking stereotypical yeah. like dreams that you have, like you peed yeah. your pants. Or you went to school without your pants. It's always fucking pants problems I have every single fucking time. So oh, I hate I think... Go ahead. <laughs> so I think I like you guys know about how I went to Europe, right? Yeah. Uh, so it was sophomore year. I was in. We were doing our day trip to Venice, and it was 105 degrees out, and I was wearing Jesus. worn down cargo shorts. <laughs> so. And I, I, I have. Oh, there's another one. So these are kind of hand in hand. I, I get real sweaty in you the and I lower. Are about to tell the exact same fucking story. Back <laughs> region in terms of swamp ass. Um, and yeah, when I yeah, when cool. I worked at the country club over the summer, um, one of the chefs, he was like, Jared, I think you sat in something. I was like, No, no, <laughs> I <laughs> sweat. <laughs> but anyways, so I'm in this no. group of probably 25, 30 people. And we are having a guided tour around Venice. And um, you do you guys know the Fishers? Trey, you know the Fishers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were on this trip with me. So we take a break. We're sitting in some shade. And there's all these, like, stool, like, not stool, uh, stone stools and benches and stuff. And I'm just sitting there. It's cold. I was like, this feels fucking nice. <laughs> and then <laughs> we get up. We start walking. And I'm kind of, like, in the back of the group. And then Mrs. Fisher comes up to me and she's like, Jared, honey, <laughs> it's like the back of your pants is ripped open. I was like, are you? F-? And it was like the start of the trip. <laughs> we oh, we still no. had like four hours to go. <laughs> Damn. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? She's, I was like, how bad is it? She's like, it's not that bad, but here's my jacket so you can tie it around your waist. Wait, wait, wait hold on. <laughs> Here, look at yeah, my ass. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty. Wait, check it out. So, like, <laughs> how bad is it? <laughs> In terms of where the back pocket would be, it was a cut all the way underneath the back pocket to the middle seam. Oh, so it was like, it was like short shorts on on the way. Yeah, it was probably a gap, like, hanging probably about that I wide see. open. Yeah. But like, I was wearing longer boxers, so, like, you couldn't see my... <laughs> hairy ass thighs through my shorts but yeah that that was up there for me because i had to wrap a jacket around my waist in 105 degree weather for Jesus. four hours because my ass was out so no, i didn't just, just played it off i <clears throat> you were talking and i thought of it fucking my sophomore year of high school sort of been your freshman year jared um no my eighth grade year you're two years ahead oh, of me oh shit i am two years <laughs> older than you okay um, <laughs> we're old, um, Trey. We're old. We're fucking old. Um, but yeah, so my sophomore year, we had our homecoming parade for marching band. Well, for the high school. And so I was in marching band. I was in that. It was one of the hottest fucking days of the summer. And I also sweat a lot wearing an old ass pair of cargo shorts that were super fucking thin, practically paper. 
we get we get through the fucking parade and we like we're, we're, we're at the school we're waiting to go onto the field to start the to start the game and everything my pants are just drenched like they are just a darker shade of khaki <laughs> The fucking, <laughs> yeah, the fucking <laughs> Trump, one of the Trump bonus, one of the senior Trump bonus at the time, walks up to me. He's like, you, you okay? Like, you want some water? I'm like, I'm good. He's like, it's okay. I It happens to me, too. I get it. Like, <laughs> like dude, my pants are soaked. This happens to you? I want to go home, okay? It looks like I fucking pissed myself. I'm done. Bro, <laughs> I got to like... stand here for another hour. <laughs> It's so crazy just how different people's bodies are in terms of sweat. There was this yeah. one kid in my grade, again, sophomore year. He was really good at Clash Royale, but anytime <laughs> he did anything with handheld games, his hands would, like, just drip. And I would give him my phone to play Clash Royale on my account because he was really fucking good at Clash Royale. And he would hand back my phone and say, sorry, and then my phone would be wet. <laughs> That's fucking disgusting. Bro, that's better uh, than one time someone, like someone, it was probably my junior, I think it was my junior year of high school. He was a year under me. He was like known for having swamp bass. Like that was just his thing. And one time we were just like hanging out and then he's like straddled one of my legs and just sat there and he stood oh. up. I was like, why the fuck is my leg moist? <laughs> I had moist tank grease on my thigh. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Oh my god, that's disgusting. I am so sorry to hear that, Jared. But yeah, not, that sounds like an OSHA violation. <laughs> Marching band is just a fucking breeding ground of sweaty meatballs. <laughs> and there was this one kid. Uh, I think he was he was a freshman or a sophomore my senior year, but he always came up and he and I would fuck with him. We called him Meatball. And... Oh, uh, Tristan? <laughs> okay. <laughs> He would always get really sweaty, so his shirt was always just a little damp. One time before we were like waiting outside to go to a football game, I was like, watch this. So I grabbed the part of his shirt right in front of his nipple, pulled it out, and then grabbed around and twisted it really tight and then held it oh. <laughs> for a while. Oh. And when I let go, it was just peaked at one of his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was the funniest shit he made me do it to the other one <laughs> you just milked him <laughs> I milked him I milked his udders <laughs> fucking christ oh my god <clears throat> alright yeah. that was, um, that was the new year's resolutions <laughs> <laughs> how was your Christmas how was your Christmas <clears throat> uh, was Pav like... says you guys should get drunk on stream so next week, get your drinks ready. Because it's our well, 21st I'm episode. I was like, Jared is underage. <laughs> it's not going to stop him. <laughs> Jared's underage. Just I wait, don't drink anymore. <laughs> just wait like three, four more weeks, and then it will be fine. That's true. My, yeah, yeah I'll say my, my birthday is coming up. What's your birthday, Jared? Groundhog's Day. <laughs> You're acting like I know that on the top of it. It's February. It's fucking dude to people. Uh, with, with, with fucking Watch Adam Sandler, scroll. what do you want me to do with this information? Adam Sandler is the name Groundhog Day. That's Bill Murray. If you, see a, if you see a groundhog pop out of the ground, it's Sherrod's birthday. Yeah. Or if you see Bill Murray, it's Sherrod's birthday. What was I thinking of? Why you see thinking... Bill Murray. Why did I say Adam Sandler? <laughs> If you see Bill Murray or see a groundhog come out of a <laughs> hole, it's my birthday. Yeah, yeah. If if <laughs> I ever even... see Bill, I don't I see, see an actual Bill... day. It's I like see... a leap year. <laughs> if I see Bill Murray coming out of a hole, Jerry can legally drink. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fucking stupid. So you stupid, know, stupid. in like middle school, when you'd have to do those word games where it's like. Yeah, this is your stripper name, and it's oh, like yeah. your middle name and the first street you lived on. Mm -hmm. Let's do one, but make it your mother's maiden name and the last three digits on the back of your credit card. <laughs> no, thank you. Hughes <laughs> six. <laughs> <sighs> what would your stripper name be? Uh, how does that even go? It's, it's it's middle name and first street you lived on. Yeah, let's dox ourselves, Landon. Let's be smart about this. <laughs> Saying the name of the street doesn't mean shit. 
Joseph Howard. That's my strip name is Joseph, Joseph Howard. Howard. That's the name of a president. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would be Alan Morse. <laughs> it's also the name. <laughs> Mine's Nicholas Cherry. So. <laughs> uh, that's a vice president. <laughs> that's definitely a vice or a, a director of treasury at least a director of treasury <laughs> a director of treasury a director of words are hard okay <laughs> michael, well, michael, michael stanley michael scott michael michael <laughs> michael don't leave me michael 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 I think we White performance should there was start really an amateur <laughs> male strip club. All right. So <laughs> when you when you start with we should, and then followed shortly by an amateur. <laughs> it's gonna be we don't time. need to be the strippers. Yeah. It's just that's gonna be the easiest way to yeah. start. Yeah, we're the conglomerates here. We we're appeal the, yeah. to a very specific crowd. <laughs> yeah. Our yeah, guy friends. I mean, hey, that uh, gentleman's club in, in Tiffin, uh, it's not in business anymore. That's perfect real true. estate right there. <laughs> wow. It's perfect true. real estate. <laughs> it's free real estate. <laughs> well, wait, when uh, uh, well, gentleman's club, that's with females. Isn't that strippers. called like what, Temptations? What, what's what's yeah. uh, the gentle what's, ladies what's club? What's the name for male strip clubs? <laughs> gentle, then... gentle ladies. Gentle ladies. It's called a strip club. A a a, a gaties and gentlemen's club. Good <laughs> gaties and gentlemen. Gating. Gaties and gentlemen. I said gentle them. Not lentil men. The JDs and gentlemen's club. It's it's a it's a club specifically for people who peaked in high school. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> going to fucking court over an auto accident, and I'm sponsored by JDs and Lentilman. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's only for uh, uh, who the fuck made lentil? Is that is that Middle Eastern? You made lentil soup. Why am I um, asking? That? Aren't lentils just a yeah yeah it's thing. <laughs> I mean yeah, lentil soup is just like a thing. Who made lentil soup? John Lentil. <laughs> John, who is John Lentil? Who the lentil fuck is the legume? Country of origin. Paleolithic uh, and majority Mesolithic. of world production comes from Canada and India. Uh, I got Greece. <laughs> I'm getting different answers. I don't care. Well, I was, I was say, let me hit you with this. I got uh, food from Circle of Friends for there. It said lentil soup from uh, Jordanian. Something or other. So, who produces the lentils? <laughs> that, that's that's oh, not a real country. And India has the best lentil conditions, bro. <laughs> uh, Satan made lentil soup. I don't. I've never actually even that's had lentil soup. Ass man name. <laughs> ah, Elon yeah. Musk tweet, tweeted, "I'm going to make lentil soup, but better." Lentil made. Satan made lentil soup. Lentil made like a, like a Midwestern <laughs> emo kind of band name. Gentle lentil. Gentle lentil. lentil That's my lentil. Shirt, <laughs> Dude, lentil lentil soup now sounds fucking smack. Oh my god, my mouth is actually water. Strip club, the names of our strippers, it has to be their middle name and first street. <laughs> <laughs> And coming to the stage, Joseph Howard. Is <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, everyone. <laughs> Hello, I I am Joseph. Let He's me like remove a... my pocket calculator. Yeah. <laughs> I was just, I was just, let me let me file my taxes. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh fuck! You. Who's all out there tonight? Who's all out there tonight? <laughs> Would your parents approve of you being here? <laughs> Just to let everyone know, you have to be 18 or older to enter the building. Let's begin. No, we're all inclusive. <laughs> Man, should I order a watch? Should, should I should I order DoorDash right now? No. Do it. You should wait till nine and go get it yourself. You should <laughs> run there. You should ride your bike. That fucking who has a bike anymore? Fucking nerd. You go outside, <laughs> idiot. Mafia. The, the I, bet mafia. Touched, I, I bet you fucking probably touched. have a bike. <laughs> yeah, Tell me at Mafia can't have bikes. Fucking, at le they have at least Soprano riding down the street on his bike. <clears throat> they have at least three. Hey, I'm fucking riding here. Cling, cling. <laughs> cling, cling. I'm, ri I'm riding here. 
New York, let's get some bike paths here. I think uh, one screen. of my most too euphoric far. moments, <laughs> my, one of my most euphoric moments in my entire life was when I went to New York the second time and someone actually said, I'm walking here. And I was like, I like, it felt like I was like with a group of friends and I just like, there's no fucking no. way. <laughs> <laughs> That's not real. This isn't New York. This is a simulation. <laughs> simulation. I'm, I'm playing like a fucking PlayStation 2 game of New York because that's the most stereotypical shit. And I'm pretty sure right across the street from was like a stereotypical fucking pizza shop too. So it's like it's like <laughs> it's getting too real. It's getting too real. I it just fucking take pizza place in New York. Yeah, New York. Yeah. <laughs> Best coffee. <laughs> I, scene in fucking elf where it's the world's best coffee and he oh, runs yeah. in. it's like congratulations <laughs> world's best cup of coffee <laughs> that's one thing like i've never had the desire like i get why people want to go to new york i just personally don't think i would enjoy it. i feel like i, would I... Be stressed the entire yeah. time <laughs> i personally loved new york uh especially the second time when i got to do it in college compared to high school because in high school they fucking hold your hand so hard they tell you exactly you're, you're like fucking playing a linear video game you can't do anything <laughs> you fucking you, like Here's the fucking addendum. You're going this, 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 and that. You're going to cry at the 9-11 memorial, and then right after that, we're going to go watch fucking Spider-Man the musical. I, it's just what's going to happen, okay? Why can't adults take the equivalent of the 8th grade DC trip? Exactly. <laughs> Let me do that let's, for let's New York, that. and I might enjoy New York. <laughs> the college one was a lot better because we weren't even allowed on, like, the fucking subway station when I was in high school, but I got to ride the subway station, and not, I'm not going to lie, that was, like, 90% of my enjoyment in New York was riding the fucking subway. I <laughs> loved it. I loved it. I met so many fucking weird people. Okay, so funny story. Funny story. <laughs> one, of, one of the most weirdest moments. So, like, when you meet a weird person in Finley, it's like, what the fuck? That person has an actual mental illness, and he should be fucking, <laughs> a, like brought up on social media institutionalized yeah. exactly <laughs> new york it's every other fucking person has <laughs> something going on there's always something going on so i am on the bus or not on the bus i'm on the subway train right and i'm just i'm just you know it's fucking packed it's early in the morning it's like eight nine in the morning so everyone's going to work so it's jam-packed so we're like doing this you know all fucking holding the poles are sitting down this guy right behind me he's this tiny like five foot two man like he's down to my fucking like below my shoulder he's got like a skull you know he's got long hair like me but like shaved like this is completely bald hardcore skull then he's doing this with his hand like he's got like a palm like palm closed and he's like touching something in his palm fucking i was like gerbil. so i was imagining oh this dude probably just found a mouse or a rat or something <clears throat> you know and he's just chilling then he touches me on the shoulder and i was like uh he's like do you want to check out he was like do you want to check out my friend he opens up his palm it's a ball of rusted fucking steel wool <laughs> i think that was probably i i don't want to say that was public embarrassment for me but that was probably the most like uncomfortable because i was like <laughs> because i was like oh cool and i just turned back around and i was freaking the fuck out like if it, it was like you know like those fucking memes where they have like someone over the shoulder and then you could see your face and this person like fucking freaking the fuck out <laughs> that's like how i was i was freaking the fuck out i'm like this guy probably has like a fucking knife on him <laughs> i'm terrified i am terrified for me and everyone on the subway tram i'm gonna get stabbed by the man with a rusted steel wool <laughs> the, i i'm gonna get stabbed by the man who is petting rusted metal <laughs> And he didn't have fucking gloves. He had it in his hand. Oh, God. He had it in his hand, and he's just touching it like this. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, I say that's like God. the biggest, like, I wouldn't say culture shock, but that's kind of what it is from me, like, coming to school in a big city. <laughs> is mm -hmm. just the sheer number of people I've learned to ignore when they're like, hey, yo, do you support local music? <laughs> hey, yo, do you support <laughs> local art? And then they try to fucking harass you if you ignore them. So that's why yeah. I don't leave my place without my headphones. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Because one time I was I was going to Target, and me and this other dude, he was right in front of me. We neither of us had headphones in. We were slipping up, and we were walking into Target, and this guy was right outside. He was like, 
yo, do you support local art? And both of us, we didn't even acknowledge him. We kept our heads straight and just walked into Target. And he goes, man, fuck y'all. And then he walked away. <laughs> it's like, damn. Something like that... He wasn't even going to try to harass you. He was like, he just had a, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He had a rough fucking day. He's like, I'm These are the last two. His hands up. <laughs> this is the last two people I needed. Fuck. <laughs> but like, they, it's just, it's, evolutionized so much because like it used to be like ah sorry i don't carry cash and they're just like fuck i okay whatever and then they were like yo you got cash app <laughs> venmo paypal yeah. i didn't have any of those so i could just be like i actually don't I'm yo so sorry. you you got your card i got the square app right here right now i got, I got my ipad i got my ipad <laughs> y'all ever heard of nord vpn <laughs> I I ran into a very similar situation again when I was in New York. I was walking along um uh, the same street as like where the ice rink where the famous ice rink is at, whatever the the Rockefeller or whatever. Um It's a shame what happened to that and, tree. Yeah, what a shame. Fucking you don't know what the you, fuck. you haven't watched Hawkeye. Okay. No, I, have, I, have, I have watched the Avengers. Fucking Hawk, the Hawk man. Hawkeye. Hawk into the fucking tree and then fucking Kate Bishop fucking blows it the fuck up. Fucking and, and an That's owl it. gets fucking an entire family yeah, of owls gets fucking, fucking owl. slaughtered, <laughs> fucking murdered. And, it, and then fucking Spider Man swings by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then... Yeah, fucking. <laughs> The fucking She yeah. Hulk is like, hey, hey. I'm She Hulk. <laughs> Yo, hey, hey, and the Matt Murdock's She-Hulk. like throwing bricks at people. Like, I'm, I'm a, I'm a really good lawyer. <laughs> fucking Miss Marvel is like, hey, I'm not that Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> that should have anyways. been the musical at the end of. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, I'm walking by the infamous the thing. <laughs> <laughs> by the infamous Rockefeller fucking uh, ice rink. All of a sudden, uh, there's like a bunch of buildings, right? And each one of these buildings have an alleyway in between them. It's bright. It's broad fucking daylight, right? So it's it's not like creepy or whatever. A bunch of these guys, like one guy comes out of the alleyway and he heads towards me. Um, and he's like, hey, would you like a CD? I said, sure. CD's uh, nuts. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. <laughs> um, so that was the worst mistake of my life because right after that, Five other guys come out saying, yo, you want my CD too? Yo, take mine. They're free. They're free. And then uh, I literally had a stack of CDs this big. <laughs> a stack of CDs this big. Right? And so I'm like, what the fuck is happening? What am I supposed to do with this? I have my camera with me. And I have my like my photography college class ahead of me. And I need to catch the fuck up. So I'm like, uh, uh, I'm freaking the fuck out. And these there's like t- at least 10 of them following me. All holding fucking like, their hot mixtapes or whatever. And so one of them was like, so uh, are you going to pay us? I'm like, you told me it was free. Is it? No, they're not free. I'm like, well, I have two bucks. So I hand, I, I was like, put the CDs like right next to me. I open up my wallet. I give him two fucking dollars. You know, that's, you know, that's just what I had in cash or whatever. And he's like, oh, well, that's not enough. So one guy takes all the CDs Runs off with my two dollars, and also they took all their CDs back. I'm like, what the fuck? How am I supposed to support? Lo- got mugged in New yeah. York. You got City. mugged for two dollars in New York. I, you know what? Not gonna lie, I'm glad because I feel like I've more or less just paid them to take away the shit that I didn't want. So say, yeah, that's you know, what it's it's more you. it's more like a service. But I don't get that. You want me to support your music, and I give you money, and you take away your music. That makes no yeah. fucking sense. <laughs> Like, like I love watching like the videos on Facebook and shit that talked about like grifters in other countries and shit and like rule of thumb anywhere don't take anything. Yeah, don't <laughs> take like, anything. It's yeah. like as soon as it's in your hands, they're like, "Oh, you took that from me," and then they're gonna try like saying you robbed them and shit. Yeah. Oh, I'm an asshole to everyone. <laughs> it's easier that way. <laughs> yeah, it, it really fucking sucks now. Like you said, it it's uh, when um, you're out in public and you want your headphones, but you just cannot find them, and everything just sucks. Everything yeah. sucks without headphones. It blows major balls, and I hate it. I'll say when uh, the show choir went to Nashville, um, <laughs> we got harassed by you. Like, hey, yo, take my mixtape. It's fucking fire, bro. And like 
Jeffrey being the way Jeffrey is, he gave them money for it. And then we are really worried about them having like some type of virus or some shit on them because they're CDs. So we played them on school computers. <laughs> <laughs> and it fucking sucked. It was so bad. Worst rap I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, because that's what, that's what it is too. It's some of the worst fucking music yeah. on the planet. Some of the worst music. So fucking funny. Well, it's so, yeah, it's so wild, too, now, because, like, they're still doing the CDs and shit, like, trying to, like, peddle yeah. that physical thing. And it's like, just, just like, give me a piece of paper with a fucking Spotify link so I can ignore it easier. Yeah. Don't even, like, yeah. I know what your game is, but just stop. I'm not going to listen to a fucking CD in 2020 fucking two. Yeah. <laughs> One time, like, Jeffrey and I were walking around, and there was a guy who's like, yo, do you support local music, blah, blah, blah. And Jeffrey was like, do you got, like, a Spotify or anything? Because we don't have cash on us. He was like... Nah. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right, then get get with the fucking times. Fucking yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm much more likely to click something on my phone for two seconds than right. attach a DVD player to my computer, <laughs> and because I don't have a built-in one. Right. Yeah. Yeah, my desktop doesn't have one. I don't think my laptop. But yeah, yeah, my, my laptop, laptop doesn't have one either. My laptop doesn't have one, no. <laughs> I, yeah, my laptop is literally like a grand, and it doesn't have a fucking built-in fucking yep. disc reader. Well, they're just like, they're I'm... not important. You don't need CDs anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, like, I have... That's why it's crazy how many, like, software things still come on DVDs and shit. Right. Like, that blows my mind. Because the only thing I have to play DVDs anymore is my PlayStation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... Yeah, my... PlayStation and my Xbox are like the only things in my house that uses. Well, I have a like I have a disc reader. I I do have a disc reader, so I guess I'm not entirely One in case. Yeah, yeah. I have my foot in the door if I need to fucking play fucking my uh, Windows ninety five games like Hot Wheels. <laughs> fucking honestly, I put together my dad's computer for like his birthday gift, and mm -hmm. I had just had like I happened to have a spare disc drive that I could just plug in because he was like, yeah, I got like games on disc that I want to install. I'm like. Fuck, do you still have games on disc? Like, just stop. Well, <laughs> where, when I first those caught Skyrim, from? <laughs> you really when I from your Skyrim, it was on a uh, hard disc that I had to yeah. download onto my computer. I, don't I downloaded think... that onto my laptop, actually. I mean, I I recently just did get a new video game. Spider-Man. I fucking hate you. Fuck off. Get the fuck. You're done. You're you're off the show. And it I, and it is a disc. It, it uh, is a disc. Trey doesn't have a fucking PlayStation. Get a PlayStation. Get God of War next. Get God of War next. I want to get God of War next. That's the next one I'm gonna get. I was like God get of War. At this point, I'm waiting for it to come out on PC. I'm still just waiting for a goddamn PlayStation Five. I don't want to get a PS4 and then get a PS5. Why? You, yeah. Why would you get a PS5? Because it's fucking for the sick. for the for the new Spider-Man game. And the new, is there is there is there a the new, new God new of War game? game? Yeah, the new God of War game is oh, going to be PS5 exclusive. Right. Yeah, but they're and, like and a Miles thousand. Morales, Miles Morales is on five. You know that kind of shit. Thousand dollars. I I Google scrapers are a thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, the normal price Patience is like four hundred or five hundred. <laughs> but uh, e, uh, Walmart has them for eight ninety nine ninety nine. No, that's a scooper selling it through Walmart. That yep. is that. Do, can you yep. do that through Walmart? That's yep. nuts. Retail is like five hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, good luck finding retail. I that, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't. Like, I get. I, I mean, get it. We're still in the pandemic. Plug, but... Meyer, who tells me, because like Meyer doesn't post online or anywhere uh -uh. when they're gonna get them in stock. They just put up a little sheet of paper at their photo lab, and it's like we'll have five in stock at eight a.m. on this day, and then they're gone within like twenty minutes. So was like Sony like, oh my god, we probably should have made more than like five PlayStation. It was the <laughs> pandemic, like it's they didn't have an option, yeah. and shit. I hard get it, but make. I get it, but still, like, come on, you kind of have to fucking. Well, and like it gets worse now that, because of know. the fucking trade issue. Like the all the ports are like backed up with shit. Like there's oh, not well, enough true. workers yeah. for for the docks yeah. and shit. So. Like I, I get it. It's landing. just so fucking frustrating because it's been two years. <laughs> You're telling yeah. me I can't have everything I want on demand like I have for the past five years. I this can't is believe this. <laughs> this is a nightmare. It's what it's like to live in a third world country. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't have my PlayStation and my Spider-Man thwip thwips. I'm now, upset. <laughs> let me chew this gum and drink cold water too fast. <laughs>
I guess going to the point, I thought about getting a fucking emulator to play the old Spider-Man games on my computer, just to, just to feel something. Um, someone is um, em someone's emulating, uh, or not emulating. What am I saying? Is remastering Spider-Man Two for the PS2 on PC? Really? Yeah, I saw like a video on it. Like it's a project that someone's making. Oh, oh like it's like a not a not a Sony thing. It's just somebody. Personally. No, no, it, it's okay. a fan. It's a fan made thing, but it looks okay. fucking awesome. Uh, That'd be cool. Yeah, it's. It, I don't know if it's a full remake. I was watching. I seen something the other day about like a fucking Spider Man, like the Spider Man three game. I fucking remember getting that game when it came out, or like went recent to when it came out, and like, damn, this has like the best graphics of the time. Like nothing's gonna beat this fucking game. Looking at it now, it's contrasted to shit. All the colors are so fucking weird in that game. Like this looks awful. <laughs> well, wait, which game is it? The Spider-Man Three movie game for the PlayStation. Oh, <laughs> my! <laughs> every time I think about that, I just think of the one fucking scene where it's the <laughs> the flaming building. Yeah, we're gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Absolutely love that. Hey, one of the first video games I have a strong memory of playing was Meet the Robinsons on X Boy. Mm. Yeah, uh, the yeah. Game Boy XP Advance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I. <clears throat> Well, oh wait, you had it on the Game Boy. I had it oh, on Game uh, Boy. They had it on the PS2. I rented. I I had GameFly. You remember GameFly? That shit was fun. yeah, awesome. Man, that shit was revolutionary. Anyways, yeah. they should. I wish. <laughs> is GameFly still a thing? I don't think so. Probably not because everything's so digital now. Yeah. Because go Netflix, Netflix, GameFly got the idea from Netflix because yeah. Netflix would mail you movies and shit. I wow! Like, didn't didn't ever need GameFly because I lived a block away from a fucking video store. <laughs> uh, Fair. Game GameFly is still a thing. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Well, are, oh. are, are they going the Netflix route? You can just stream games now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't. Want I don't to know how in. that would work. I, I don't. I don't. I feel like GameFly I don't now. Get how like getting disc games <laughs> and like yeah. installing them and then returning also, this and having to delete it off yeah. your system you can't play <laughs> right. without the disc yeah gamefly now sells consoles controllers games and collectibles for gamers mm, so it's okay uh okay so it's it's kind of became like an online gamestop kind of store situation that's fair so yeah you can you can still rent and now you can also buy how much Our is how much are they selling? Okay, so GameFly is not selling the new consoles, but man, are they selling arcade games? Like classic <laughs> arcade arcade games. Holy shit, that's all they have. They don't... So if you go under consoles on GameFly.com, man, that's we're, a sense we're, that we're not smart. We're not sponsored by GameFly.com, by the way. Uh, I just want to put that one out there. I hope we're not. R.I.P. GameStop. <laughs> I, I, I trying to like have a stake in things. Yeah. I don't. I don't think. Gamefly has enough money to sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go Gamefly, hit us up. Yeah, I didn't mean the con. You provide uh, nothing comments. and take everything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dark free trial of Gamefly. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna take everything they have. <laughs> Ooh, they have collectibles. I think in my shelf that's back here. Speaking of collectibles, I think I'm going to move it over to this wall over here because there's like I, it's so busy on this back wall now. Yeah. Just, I want more shit. I, I need to get more like Funko Pops, more video game related shit from the games I play. I got Just, all I need right here. I, I, I told you what happened to mine, right? The fucking feet yeah. fell off because it fell off the shelf. These things suck. Not going to lie. Yeah. Like his I think it's his entire left side of his body. Like, it's so poorly made. If I do anything in the weirdest way, it just comes right the fuck off. Yep. Yeah, they're pretty, same thing like... With, same thing with his arm. They <laughs> that, look... they, they, that took no force at all. No, yeah, they look they look like they should be more well-made. They, yeah. they aren't. They're, like, the cheapest fucking little figurine well, I've like, ever seen. This, this guy sucks, but surprising, you know, the main character, though, <laughs> fucking whole franchise. <laughs> you know, but John this... Halo. Yeah, John Jonathan Halo, but his brother, uh, Chad Halo, he's fucking top notch. Like he's is that actually the, looks, is he's that the just, Mark Seven armor. Yeah, it's just the no, yeah, no from the from the, the new armor from the game for the multiplayer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mark, okay. what was it? Mark Eight. Mark, Mark Eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mark Eight. Um, 
game no, five, with all due respect, your figures fucking suck. <laughs> yeah, they do fucking They're suck. all Hasbro figures. Yeah, yeah, Damn. yeah, they fucking suck. But this guy is actually not bad at all. Not bad at all. Like, he's fucking sturdy. <laughs> he's sturdy as fuck, you know? What are you doing you there, buddy? Tell. Yeah, he's testing his sturdiness. Yeah, this guy... I don't get how this guy, the, the Jonathan of Halos... <laughs> can't fucking keep his legs and arms together but this fucking mysterious man uh behind fucking armor is like better quality i don't fucking get it i don't get it i just sent a that link was, in streaming vc was... i want y'all to check out <laughs> all right fucking jared making fun of her dolls yeah <laughs> oh what the fuck is this it's <laughs> 50 dollars <laughs> we should get that <laughs> We are we gonna all chip? Oh my god! Yeah! Wow! Wow! Available look... date next month. That yep. is. Oh no no no! Sorry no that's twenty. That's... Oh yeah. No that's twenty twenty one. Yeah. Like so what sure. the fuck is that? And there's no <laughs> other pictures or description. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sketchy. hold on. Shit. Diamond select. Hold on. Diamond select. <laughs> that that sounds like a jewelry store. And yeah. Animated Hulk. Is that from something? Is this uh, is know. it is this canon to MCU? Diamond Select Toys. They have a Loki one that doesn't look terrible, but also like it's got Kid Loki and then sexy the, Loki. <laughs> so the the Vision one isn't that bad. They have a spy. Yeah, Diamond Select. Oh my god, Taskmaster oh. looks awful. Not gonna lie. Yeah, they're so bad. The Spider-Man one's actually pretty fucking awesome. Do you see that one? The one with the pumpkins? No, it's uh, Spider-Man and Venom. That one actually looks really fucking sick. Say, so I just clicked on where it said Marvel, and they have some, like, busts that are... Oh, I, I just... Really I, fucking I, sweet. I, I just googled uh, Diamond Select animated Marvel, and I found this one. It's really fucking sick. Uh, I'm gonna. You guys would probably like it. It's almost I... nine, and we're getting distracted. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I might yeah. as well close this out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, that's gonna be it. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, same time next week, hopefully. And yeah, let's buy our merch. Buy our merch. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. So. <laughs> <laughs>